Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore Gemini 1.5. So Google's Gemini model now has the capability of audio input. So Gemini 1.5 is now, you can say, one of the best multimodal LLM out there or multimodal AI model out there. Okay, so it has the text capabilities, it has the audio capability, it also has vision capabilities that we know. So you can also pass video, you can extract the frames. So in true sense, it has all these different capabilities, different data dimensions to basically you know handle it. And we're gonna try that out in this in this video. We're gonna build an audio summarization app in Streamlit using Gemini 1.5 API. So it's a closed source thingy, not open source. So if you if you are not somebody who wants to use a closed source, then probably you don't have to watch this video. This video is for whom who wants to try it out, uh, try Gemini 1.5 for audio capabilities. So I'm going to build a Streamlit application in this video where the end user can upload one input one audio input can also upload multiple audio input because the, the model supports around 9.5 hours of audio file. That's really huge. And we're going to see how we can basically generate summarizations directly from the audio. Now here is the cache guys. Okay, so when you see, uh, you know, to basically perform a question answering from audio, it's easy. Okay, audio sound is the most complex data, by the way, when I say it's easy, the easy, I'll tell you why this is easy. Okay, you can use any transcription model to get the transcript and then use that as a context to ask questions. So dealing with audio data for question answering is easy because you are not capturing any spatial, uh, you know, any spatial uh, data like, you know, uh, bounding boxes. When, when you talk about the video or the image frames, you know, you are looking at the uh, spatial occurrences like bounding boxes, segmentations, object localizations and things like that. Now, audio, it's easy. So audio, you can use whisper model open source model whisper is there there are a lot of other models are there and you can get the transcription from an audio and you can just perform a question answering that's an easy task but then there there, there that you need one more model which is a transcription model now when you talk about gemini 1.5 single model has the capability to get the transcription out and perform question answering at the same time so in, in true sense a multimodal ai model so let's jump in and see how we can do that now if you look at here on my screen ah i am on something called google ai studio and i already have created an api key you can see it over here i have logged in with my gmail id here and i already have an api key that i have been using it and i am going to show you show it to you over here i'll give this link in description so you can get a free api key it provides a free api key you know uh just as a marketing instant guys after may you know they will start charging again so it's not free for them from the next month onward i think when gemini was launched it was only free for three months if i'm not wrong so the this month is very near now too and now they will start asking about uh, all this uh, you know billing and stuff now for now you can use that uh, this is how i'm using it i'm in google collab i'm installing the google generative ai library i install that I have saved my credentials here in ENV now secrets in collab environment. Google API key. I have saved the value here, and I have a couple of files, and I'm just gonna run this now. So Google collab user data. User data is just to get the credentials from secrets, and then I have audio file. You can see this is an audio file. Let's run that. It'll sort audio file. You can find it out over here and then the model so it's gemini 1.5 pro latest model coming from the generative model you can see it over here the generative model class and i'm passing the model slash gemini 1.5 pro latest you can also fine tune gemini i'm also gonna create a video on that that how to fine tune gemini model now i'm saying please summarize the following audio now here you can ask different questions so the, here it goes your prompt so you can ask like can you come up with different topics that have been discussed in this audio? What are the key insights and findings are there in the audio? Can you generate some anomalies in the audio? How, how does the sentiment look in the audio? And different use cases you can cater it here, guys. Okay, so model or generate content. Please summarize the following audio and audio file. Passing the audio file. That's a variable that we have over here in line in this cell. And then just run this. Once you run it, it takes a few seconds. 
you know to generate to transcribe then it's pretty fast you know when you compare that with the other models you can see it says that the speaker is informing someone named man that an accusation has been confirmed and news about it will be released by next week you know the speaker emphasized the urgency by saying bye 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 and men mentions s ASAP suggesting a need for immediate action or attention to the matter. That's how easy it is. But this we are doing it in Google Collapse. So now let's let me show you how you can do that in Streamlit as well. So here you can see these are the three libraries that you need to build a Streamlit application: Streamlit, Python.env, and Google Generative AI. And here I have already installed all the dependencies in a virtual environment. You can see the virtual environment folder over here. And then I have an app.py. In the app.py, I have imported pydub just to handle the audio. Probably we do not need that. I'll see. Uh, Streamlit temporary file to save the file. OS. And then we are loading the API keys. I have a function called summarize audio where I am passing the same code that you see in Google Collab. Then I'm not making any changes. The only thing which is there is the input parameter, which is an audio file path. We'll take that from the streamlit input. That's what we are doing. I'm using the same piece of code that you saw in Collab. When you are dealing with streamlit, you have to save the temp file temporarily or in a folder. Then again, you have to uh, get the value from there. So that's what we are doing it here. This function does that. A pretty much simple Python function to save the uploaded file. Have a title, and then have a description. That what this app what this app does. Have a file uploader. Audio file equal ht dot file uploader upload the audio file wave and mp3 so I have two extensions you can either upload a wave or you can upload a mp3 if audio file is not none then I'm saying if there's an audio file then only process the rest of the code if there is no file then it will not work the button is not work ht dot button summarize audio there is a spinner that uh, that basically works as a buffering and then passing the summarize audio path and info let's run that now guys so what I'm going to do is open here Let's try that out. Extremely to run app.py. It says no module pydub. I don't know why we need pydub. So let me just remove pydub. I don't need pydub here, I believe. Okay, so let me just hash this and see if this is making sense. I think I was doing pydub because I wanted to convert wave to mp3 or something. Okay, now if you come back here, run this. And you can see audio summarization app here you can have an about this app it says this app you just google's generative ai to summarize audio files upload your audio file in wave or mp3 format and get a concise summary of its content now i'm gonna upload an audio file i have an audio file let's try that out okay meanwhile let me play that audio file so i can you can hear it what do you think kids should be studying these days resilience uh, adaptability a high rate of learning creativity certainly familiarity with the tools mm -hmm. so should kids still be learning how to code because I've, I've heard people say don't need to learn how to code anymore um, just math just biology well I'm biased because I like coding but I think you should learn to code uh, I don't write code very much anymore although I randomly did yesterday <laughs> um, but learning to code was great as a way to learn how to think and I think coding will still be important in the future so this is Sam Altman guys he's talking to one of the interviewer and the interviewer asked him about the questions how what should the kids learn nowadays so he talks about resilience and I am a huge believer of that you have to be really resilient to succeed in life so you have to be resilient you have to be uh, you know you should have that adaptable nature to adapt with something new and again you have to learn coding you know there's nothing you, you cannot do uh, you cannot really understand this entire technolo technological space if you don't know how to write code so that's very important now let's click on summarize audio and see if that works it says summarizing you can see there's a there's a buffer or something you know there's this basically a shimlet spinner so you call it st dot spinner and it says your default credentials were not found to set up application default credentials ah oh, excuse me let me just see that what happened just now here as you can see we got the output now guys so i figure out the uh, issues so i was not loading the env you can see this was the env because my credentials are in inside sitting inside env and i'm now loading into dot env so load dot env and then rest is the same so we just have to add these two lines of code to just load the env now if you look at the output i'll make it a bit bigger so you can read that summary of the audio clip 
the audio features a discussion about what skills are important for children to learn in the current age the main points are essential skills coding evaluation of skills that's what sam altman is talking about that in the video uh, in the audio so you can find out here that and you can again have different use cases like you don't probably don't need a summary you need a key insights you need anomalies you need sentiment you can pass the audio put the system prompt or put some prompt templates in place and generate whatever you have to generate from the audio file so you can do that now i just wanted to show you how you can do it in google collab and streamlit you can also host this now if you want to host this just go to streamlit cloud here guys okay so streamlit cloud you know, it takes a bit of time to redirect and stuff you just have to create a github repository and you have to link this uh, with your github repo and that's it just get the env that the api keys and you can just use you can see i have hosted all these api uh, all these apps here the stimulate apps this is how you can do that new app and here you can have all your repo you can see my repo is here audio summarization and advanced setting is here something you have to give your key so your key will be google api key and then you give that so i'm not doing it but when you do that just click save you know file does not exist so that will be app.py that is fine yeah and then you click on deploy button it will be deployed immediately okay you can change the domain as well if you want okay and that's how easy it is guys to connect your stimulate app uh with the stimulate cloud and host it on free at least up to 1 gb and yeah this is what i wanted to do is in this video guys i hope you have a basic idea of how to use Gemini 1.5 API for audio summarization or audio based use cases or information retrieval from audio. If you have any questions, thoughts or feedbacks, do let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content I'm creating, please hit the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in near future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.